Hi, this is Nicholas, and I've managed to find some time recently to do more work on the Python editor for Microsoft's Touch Develop environment, uh, which will be used for coding the BBC Microbit. Um, perhaps the first thing that you should know is that I've created a whole uh, test suite around the Python specific code that we have written. Here it is, all passing green here. Um, I've not written tests for Microsoft derived code that we use in the Python editor since. Uh, I believe that uh, Microsoft tests that anyway, and therefore we don't have to. Uh, the other thing that you should know is that uh, the editor now fully implements Steve Hawk's wonderful design. Uh, so without further ado, let's have a look and see uh, the editor. There it comes. And obviously it looks very similar to what you've seen before. There's the four big buttons here. Um, I've actually added uh, two buttons, uh, zoom in and zoom out uh, because teachers, uh, when they want to display via a projector uh, code that they want uh, children to pay attention to, um, have told us that they would like to zoom in and zoom out uh, so that uh, kids at the back will be able to see the code. Um, uh, we've also made sure that snippets uh, now works properly. So I can click on the snippets menu, uh, button and the menu comes up and I can select one of the snippets um, and I can learn about what the snippet does as well here. Uh, so clicking that will get me a while loop. Um, or I could just use the trigger WH click tab and the trigger will create the snippet for me as a sort of a code shortcut there. Uh, the sidebar is now design complete. So I've added the uh, the snake's head um, and updated the images that are used in the right hand side. And this links to MicroPython. Um, so that looks nice. And uh, finally, I've tidied up the responsive nature of the editor. So um, it actually looks a lot nicer than um, than it was doing earlier on as the form factor of the display uh, changes. So we're going from a small, um, perhaps tablet sort of device to a full desktop, which is what you see here. Um, so that's a functionally complete Python editor. It needs to undergo uh, testing by the BBC, and I've yet to do cross-browser testing. The development has been done on Firefox. I'm going to try it on Chrome, which is the other um, browser that I have access to and I have various Windows using friends who will be testing it for me as well. Happy to answer questions. Thanks a lot.